four, three, two. Hey, we're... This is 2OF Entertainment. Welcome to the Lost Dollar Business Club, where we talk about business, 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 and not just business. We talk about what makes businesses go up and what makes businesses go down. If you're interested in businesses, this is where it is. We talk about the global economy. We talk about global politics. We talk about everything and anything business-related that affects your life on a global scale as well as a local scale. And don't miss after the show, Lost and Found. We're the various members and guests, apparently. <laughs> regular various members and guests. Yeah. yeah. Well, unlike unlike on, last on. week, where John and I were the hosts of the show, because no one you else could, you know, you were. Well, I, 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 I pleased that my member has a name. That's all I can say. So, uh, well, uh, you know, it's, it's, yes, slurring denture. That's right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm happy to be back after a two week hiatus. Thank you guys for. Yeah. Uh, yeah, how was that holiday? Yeah, that was a good. That was a very much needed uh, holiday. Hadn't done one in a while, so uh, yeah. it worked out really well. Nice. Yeah. yeah, that was good. Yeah, well, well, I, I haven't been. I haven't been on the show for like two or three weeks because I've had influenza. That was the holiday he was referring oh, to. No, oh, no, I'm no, sorry. No, <laughs> you had influenza or, or something yeah, else? It, yeah, no, no. It COVID. It wasn't the COVID. No, it wasn't COVID. Influenza A. Good old fashioned yeah. Spanish flu. <laughs> which which isn't was that kind of racist which, though isn't that racist because you know the we're saying it, the spanish they have their own flu like there's not an american flu well, there's you, not a chinese flu it's like do you know why it's, it's called the spanish the do you know why it's i know why spanish. i'm just being a smart oh. ass yes i don't know why we call it covid you know i you know what do you want to call it john chinese oh, monkey really? flu <laughs> chinese oh, monkey death that's yeah, the new thing. Oh, monkey, monkey pox. That's the new thing. Oh, yeah. I saw that monkey pox. Yeah. Yeah. We're all, yeah. We're all going to die. Yeah. Yay. We're all going to die. Well, thank you, everybody, joining us on a Saturday morning. If that's when you're either yes. watching this on YouTube, what yeah. the hell are you up so early for? And if you're listening to it on the podcast, um, thank you for that. And, you know, tell your friends or play this really loud while you're playing golf and they'll wet their pants. Yeah. So, all right. Uh, so, we just have we to ask Michael today? what we're going to die about today, Michael. So, yeah, let's, yeah, let's 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 cover. We 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 talked about a bunch of things on our little group chat over the past week, but let's focus in on uh-huh. just a few topics around the uh, the Olympics in Paris and their Oh yeah. <laughs> yes, in particular their security state that they created that a lot of Parisians were very unhappy about and uh, people in the EU are now saying we're uh, we're just a way to encroach on civil liberties in the long term. And they keep saying that they've been saying this. They keep saying it, and uh, it's something worth talking about. Um, and they're going to be doing that similar security state at the Los Angeles Olympics in 2028. They're already getting started on that. Okay. okay. That's the same security people who were looking after Donald Trump. I take it. So happy day. Oh boy! Yeah, yeah. That, wow. That, First of all, <laughs> the reason that they tested this in Paris, and what are the other subjects before we get off on our yeah, so we, got, we got the Olympics. We got the Olympics. We have yeah. Zoom. Okay, Ooh. Zoom is a hybrid company, but sure. they want to uh, they want to show that they are an AI driven collaboration <laughs> platform. <for New York. laughs> yeah. Okay. So let's stop with the jokes. Yeah. The, and the third and the third topic. And the third topic will go to China, our favorite Yay. topic, and their electric vehicle market. Which, uh, which is just going crazy, and Biden is trying to stop with 100% tariffs. Joe and, Biden has no means. Um, okay. Well, whoever's, whoever's managing the White House at this point. Well, I think that'll change if, if Camilla gets in. But let's, let's start with your, um, your Olympics thing, because I think that's no, very we're, we're, interesting. I just want what? to add as well, I've got, I've got a little word of contribution as well about, about, uh, about data and people's personal data. Okay. Um, but just before we get into any of that, we've got to yeah. pay a bill. <laughs> Get the freedom and the flexibility of remote work in the lucrative tech industry. Bend your life around, around the world. Bendicoot is the premier course and community for thriving in a remote tech career. Join the revolution today. Bendicoot.com, official partner of the Lost Dollar Business Club. And we're back. All right. We are back. We are back. Till paid. 
I like it. Bill Pig. Dun, dun, dun. Very nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, was, he was my favorite uncle, Bill Pig. He oh, he's made, yeah, he's he used to invite him around the house, take him out to restaurants, and say, not Bill Pig. Where's the top cat? He has a cigar. Yeah. Has a monocle yeah. with cane. You saw him on the cover of Monopoly. Sure. Remember him well. <laughs> so, so you want to talk about the parents? Where do you want to start? Because there's the three good topics. Like we can just make John start foaming at the mouth and we just start with China because that'll be awesome. Or we can talk about 1932 Paris. Yeah, I'm flexible either way. <laughs> well, look, I mean, the, the Paris thing, the Paris thing, the, the basic idea, there's a, there's a guy who wrote for CNN, uh, Jules Boykoff. He's a professor at Pacific University, he teaches political science, but he wrote a bunch of books on the politics of the Olympic Games um, and argues that uh, the Olympics are actually modern Olympics have been for the ability to for cities and countries to augment their power over their population. Um, civil liberties advocates say that the Olympic Games become a way for just to to launch surveillance technologies, test them out, and then normalize these security practices. Which, um, you know, in, in in light of the EU launching their AI <clears throat> their AI Act which says that uh, law enforcement can pretty much use AI for whatever they want, um, you know, the, this, this becomes a real, a real conversation if people are interested in civil liberties. Are they still? I hope. I don't yeah. know. No, Nobody can. You gave up your civil liberties. Yeah, they're interested in cheap tickets to go to the Olympics. They don't really care what happens. Right. First of all, who yeah. even gives a crap about the Olympics? Seriously. The Olympics are yeah, such I mean, a waste. I know we won 12,000 medals as Americans, and, and Vicky – from social intercourse and in real life posted that I think the 40 of those medals came from Texans. And I was like, who cares? But anyway, I don't really care about the Olympics. We all know we have no civil liberties. If you think you do, you're an idiot because the government would, would once you got computers, once you got the internet, the government's like, Ooh, we can watch what everything you do. They watch everything you do, regardless of what they tell you. So all they're well, going to do at some point, yeah, that, that's huh? been known for a long time. Yeah. yeah so then yeah. you have no yeah. civil liberties. You're not, you want civil liberties? Get rid of your computer, get rid of your mobile phone, get rid of your well, credit cards, pay in cash, and that's it. I mean, that's the only way you're going to have liberties. This is Orwell's 1984. Yeah. It just took 40 years, 50 years to get there. And it's going to get well, worse, not better. I'd, I'd like to, I'd, it's probably a good, a good time now to interject with uh, something that I received. Um, yeah. And it's re directly related to a to civil liberties, and okay. b to do and b to do with the fact of people knowing what I may or may not be using on my computer at home. And I received this, and I thought that um, I even got ChatGPT to to translate it for me. Uh, okay. That they said then then gave me this huge warning at the end saying it might be a scam. But mm -hmm. this is what I got from via the post. Um, that's that's probably yeah. Uh, so basically, what it is, it's got it has all the insignia of right. Europol. Okay. And I am um, I have been accused of. Let's see what they've accused me of. They've accused me of the consumption and possession of child pornograph pornographic images, cyber pornography, and children under the Children's Crime Act. Wow. Um, uh, so that, and they said, "Well, I've been a very naughty boy, and they're going to come and get me." Okay. Because uh, this was a, this was a summons which I got on the twenty eighth of June, yeah. of July. Yeah. And they're going to come and get me within seventy two hours, unless okay. I and uh, unless I send an email out to this particular person, who just happens to be have, have a, a Gmail account. This yeah, Gmail account. Yeah. Gmail account. Hey, yeah. make sure you blow up that. Do me a favor. <laughs> Blow up his Gmail account, and all our fans will send yes. this guy an FU. Yeah. Blow, blow up so, his Gmail account. Make, give his Gmail account out and put it and into I, our I, chat, and I'll put it in our email. I mean, okay. So, you know, so, so my, my, this particular email address that they used was yeah. uh, one that I used on LinkedIn. So I'm not difficult to find. But yeah. it's the – but the, the, the fact is, I, I read it and I laughed about it at the start of it. And I said to Anel, I said, this is really funny. We had a bit of a yeah. chuckle about it. And then, you, and then you start to realize, hey, you know, okay, it's a phishing email. But look at what they're trying to insinuate. Mm -hmm. Because they, this, it's different to saying, you know, I'm a, 
uh, Nigerian prince or I'm a no. princess or whatever. No, they're now implying, of course, that um, I've been watching porn. No. Um, and, they, and not only have I been watching porn, I've been watching some really naughty porn. And in order yeah, yeah. to stop me from going to prison, I would probably have to pay some sort of fine up front. Yeah. And hey, why don't you send this to your local police department then? Why are you, I mean, I grant we'll talk about it here, but why don't you send to the local done. or the federal authorities? It's already, it's already done because they've already seen it. But you can see it uh, has all the insignia of your right, right. poll. Um, and it's it's got a stamp it on it. It's got the, whole, mo it's got the whole mother. <laughs> David, it came as an email or a letter? It came, it came as an email. But ironically, the email, this particular thing that you're now looking at at the moment, is an image, a PNG image. Because right. you have it's sort of it, but when it appears in email, you've got this bit at the top that says ah, okay, okay. it says something about you have to deal with this really urgently. I tried to translate it, but it was a mixture of French and and Dutch together and chat chat. Okay. Oh, those yeah. Nigerians, they just don't know no, how to not, smell. So. Exactly. So yeah. I didn't bother to do that, but it just says you have to act upon this immediately because mm. Your details have now been passed over to the local um, uh, law enforcement Sorry. agency, yeah. and this is your summons, and they're going to be around your gaff within seventy-two hours and take you away uh, as a red. Yeah, and, and you'll be charged with with cyber crime. I love that they would warn you, you know, before yeah, the. Yeah. Oh, wait, arrest. I have a question though. Did yeah. you send this to the local federal authorities? And if you did, what did they say? No, no, it's been seen before, so that's um, oh. it's. Well, well, it's nothing new, but we do need to we do need to put his email address and bomb him. So yeah, yeah. oh yeah, but, like but but, but I, I resulted there was sort of like a mixture of two things, and the one thing is that that they are now people are now preying on on people's internet internet journeys, their preferences. Right. So they're so I mean, you know, so that means now are they watching? Because it's the immediate thing you're going to think is that are they watching? Are they watching me? What uh, looking at all this porn? Do I have some slightly naughty stuff on my computer? And I'm sure there are quite a few people who do. Uh, I don't. I've got it all on a USB stick. But outside of that, but yeah. there's, <laughs> but, but wait, 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 to clarify, to clarify, <laughs> you don't have yeah. children's porn. You have porn no, no, porn. no, no, no. Let's be very no, clear no, about no, that. No, right, just, right, right. This, let's this, yeah. This, this, it's a this joke. Is just, it's a joke. It's, it's a joke. Yeah. It's a joke. Let's be yeah. clear about NSA, that. NSA, NSA. It's a joke. It's a joke. Yeah, yeah. it's a joke. Too late now. But um, yeah. yeah, right. But that's but, yeah, that's no, really that's really um, this, and that's part of the issue, right? Most people yeah. don't know, and they'll see this, yeah. and they'll be like, "Oh my god!" And they'll go, "Oh, it's you know X Y Z at Gmail," and it's kind of like whatever. I mean, I get stuff every now and then. It'll be bullshit and i'll see it's a gmail account and i yeah. write shit that would like m make the pope blush which isn't that hard and i don't care yeah. and i've had them come back but, and go we're gonna go please do and then there's a guy i've seen him on instagram that he'll go and he'll lock up their computer like if you send yeah. him this he'll send them a, a thing lock their computer up and then you have to get a hold of you and then he records the whole conversation but yeah, that's yeah. just so there's, a, there's a guy there's a guy who tries to scam the scammers and he takes yeah, up that's the guy. Scam. He puts them on the gets them on the phone. Yeah, yeah. that's it's brilliant. Brilliant. So, so the, the, there are two aspects to this is one is yeah, you're gonna click on it and you may get uh, involved in you know in dealing with some very dark people. Right. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We, don't know or, we don't know or, that they're dark. Or, Let's just say people. So, <laughs> or, or, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure now, now Stephen's joking. That's just a, that's a yeah, but, yeah, it, yeah. But, but it may be, of course, just a, bit, a simple phishing exercise that the yeah. fact that you click on the Gmail account actually tells them that you are a person and that, that your email address is alive, and then yeah, you get yeah. a whole series of stuff coming behind it so yes. yeah a warning to, a warning to everybody it's 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 a you know it's it's scary it's it's not Never, as funny. No, it's not it's, it's not scary because it's not the way the world works if you're going to get a letter from an agency they're not emailing it to you they're going to send it sign mm -hmm. return receipt yeah. crap or someone's yeah. showing up at your door so when That's you right. get this shit, just delete it tell them to go fuck themselves and call it a day we beat this dead horse enough let's go on to another subject this is stupid okay so. <laughs> but, so, I felt that was important just to just to share. All right, well, all the so stupid people, people out there. Our, there you our, go. Viewers, our viewers and listeners will not be fooled. Will not yeah, be well, fooled. Well, unless they get carried away. Well, let's hope. Yeah. Let's hope. Not. 
But the, uh, you know, we, we know that the Olympics had the issue with the Munich, the Munich games in 72 and, and it was right. awful, obviously. And so ever since then, they were saying, look, they've got to make sure that that doesn't happen again. In 96, there was a bomb explosion in, 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 in Atlanta. In Atlanta. In Atlanta. Yes. And, uh, you know, horrible stuff. So, but the thing is, you've got people saying, look, it infringes on right to privacy, right to be anonymous in their own streets. In fact, you had to get a QR code if you were a local resident to drive your car around. Um, people didn't seem to like that. A lot, a lot of the restaurateurs have been complaining like for six weeks before the Olympics started because of this security ring that they had no business at all. And shop owners, no business at all because nobody oh, could right, get right. in. Nobody right. could get in. Only people that were residents. So the, it, it's okay. On the one side, it's security. The other side is you're, you're punishing the people that are supposed to flourish from this. And this security ring went around as well. So it changed where, when the events went to different places, these rings were put around where that particular event was and it had this, exactly the same effect. So the only people that were selling burgers and beer and, and, and whatever and cola or whatever were the official sponsors because nobody else, you know, could get, that nobody were coming into the stock shops or the supermarket. So if so, you're not an official sponsor, you're not getting any business, you know. Yeah. 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 Or, it's been, or, it's, or it's been screwed down to such a low level that it's just a thing. Because a lot of Parisians said, well, why did we even bother to open our shops? Well, the Olympics are a scam. Let's just be blunt. It's not what it used to be. We actually have talked about this on Vaguely True and the Havana Cigar Show. Um, but <laughs> The, the Olympics are a scam, full stop. They used to mean something way back in the day. And probably the last meaningful Olympics was maybe 84, maybe. And that's it. And since then, uh, Olympics have become nothing more than a scam. It's like now with your internet, it's like, oh, you want to watch an event. But, but, but I don't, you know what? I, you don't need that. And it's not for amateurs anymore. The minute you let professional athletes start doing it, it's not the Olympics anymore. It's just a bunch of professional athletes that get I'm paying for, or not really because I don't sponsor them, but that the sponsors pay for professional basketball players and this player and that player to go and compete against people around the world. If that's what you want to do, have the NBA, have a uh, whoever wins the world championship of the NBA play the world champion of Korea or of Asia or of Europe and let them go. I don't need the Olympics. I have not watched the Olympic. It's the worst ever. Well, I don't know about what it was in the U.S., but certainly here, it was most of it was behind a paywall. Now, here you could watch it, but nobody does. It was like a paywall. Wow. Yeah, yeah. HBO, HBO Eurosport had, had, had locked, it, locked it right down. So we flipped between um, – I know in the U.K. there were people were pitching about it because if you didn't pay the three ninety nine, right. you only saw like the edited highlights on the BBC or only right. like continuously swimming forever. Um, but we, yeah. but, uh, but because they probably have the rights for that. But we flipped between Dutch TV, Belgian TV, German TV, just to get, um, and occasionally Eurosport, just to get a little bit of a wider picture. But um, what, yeah, what kind of sports did you get to see when you did that? Uh, well, we unfortunately we were both very very ill, so we watched a lot. Of, we watched a lot of on uh, TV at odd hours. So everything, you know, judo, archery, uh, boxing, um, shooting, um, you know. How would you like that Turkish guy shooting uh, shooting without yeah, any? Yeah, amazing. Support? Yeah. Pretty yeah. good. Yeah, he amazing. was very good. Yeah. But, yeah, that's the, but that's the thing. So you're right. People – and Stephen's got a good point. I don't know that anybody really cares about the Olympics anymore. It doesn't have the unifying effect of a national yeah. pride anymore. And uh, now I didn't realize, but they're even monetizing it in the EU. So there you go. Yeah. Let me tell well, you, the, the, Olympics, the, 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 let me, the Olympics suck cock. Let's just be blunt. I mean, well, there was, there athlete, was a lot athlete. of bluntness on today's show with Steven. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, but yeah. There was one, there was <laughs> yeah, one guy who was, it was, it was, it was, one guy who was actually absolutely who, uh, you know, oh, it's the best thing ever. But that's the, the golf guy, because that was the first time I had golf at the Olympics. Can you work that one out? No, the best because Olympic it, event it, was the breakdancing, and we're going to discuss that later. Oh, but I saw, I saw breakdancing as well. Yeah, I, that's, that's my point. These are not okay. Olympic sports. Breakdancing <laughs> is not a sport. Breakdancing is a whole well, other – they have professional ballroom dancing. It's this crap that they've got is like, seriously, you're trying to well, get – what they're trying to do is get the younger this. generation. 
Yeah, the funny thing about the breakdancing was I was very sceptical as well. I mean, we watched a couple of them simply because, you know, when you're sort of half knocked out with, with influenza, you watch anything. But there were a lot of these guys were a lot, a lot better, and girls were a lot better at doing all this, these uh, floor mm -hmm. gymnastics. Acrobatics. Than, mm -hmm. Yeah, acrobatics than they were actually mm -hmm. doing in the Olympics, you know, because they yeah. had to do floor and and the bolt and the horse and everything, the pummel or whatever it was. So yeah, well, the girls like, like doing wow. the horse. That's what I understand. They like that horse. So, so yeah. So, no, they don't do the horse. The girls. Yeah. The pummel. They don't do the pummel. Look, come on. You know, I mean, yes, okay. You want to have break dancing? Have a different event. You know, it's not an Olympic right. event. You know, it's trying they do. to please Red Bull too many people. It. Red, Red Bull sponsors a break dancing right, event right. globally. It's the world championship break dancing thing. Yeah. And uh, well, thank God. And they'll be sponsoring the tanks rolling in, in, in soon into Germany. But anyway, um, but the nice thing is, is that there's the Red Bull sponsors breakdancing globally. And I've watched some of it and I'm like, wow, you, this is like they are athletes. But to have it in the Olympics, I'm sorry. Right. There's, there's a they have surf. They had surfing in the Olympics as well. Yes. And yeah. it was in Tahiti. It, I'm sorry. Once again, who cares? You have world surfing competitions and it's all the professionals. Once again, Olympics back in the day were for the amateurs to go and say, here's our best amateurs. Great. Granted, yeah. Russia and East Germany would send their professionals, but it didn't really matter. And now we're just sending professional athletes. Like if the four of us decided that we could play badminton or ping pong, but we're not on the tour, they're not going to, and we're better than the guys on the tour. We won't get picked because we're not a professional athlete. We're just some guys no one ever heard of. So that's the problem with it. I have a real issue with it now because yeah, but the it's problem, just a bunch of crap. The problem is, of course, is that, that it costs so much money and so much yeah. time. That so and, and the Olymp and so there was always an elite class that were the Olympic uh, competitors. Mm -hmm. And yeah, well, and, then, and then all of a sudden- That's not yeah, really the, true. That's not it, really true. Bruce Jenner, when he went in the Olympics and won the decathlon back in the 80s, um, he worked as an ad executive and he would train at night and in the morning before work. And then when he went to the tryouts, wherever they had him, and they said, oh, okay, you're going to go for us. Um, then they paid the rest of his stuff. But no, you could yeah. still be, and he was technically a non-professional. He was just an executive who says, I can do this. And he did it. So yeah. that's, no, that, that was the thing like that slowed that it right down, you know, that's the thing. And, uh, and so they have, and of course, in steps, you know, big uh, corporate companies who say, oh, it's okay. You have a problem with, uh, you don't have money to buy great sports shoes. Hey, you can, you can wear ours. You know, you don't have money to buy a complete kit or a team kit or whatever. Hey, we'll give it all to you. And yeah, and then the Olympic Committee said, well, okay, that's probably, that's probably a better idea. We're probably going to get a better quality of athletes and a better spectacle for <laughs> for, for the spectacles Olympics. Spectacles is good. Spectacles, yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know. I like I said. I think the Olympics are I a waste of time. This should Bravo just be the in Greece permanently. There you go. Uh, with naked men wrestling. That's all it should be. The way it started with virgins in the audience. That's it. That's who should go. That's the Olympics. I agree. Yeah. Well, that's that. That's the reason why there's no Olympics anymore because right? there's no virgins in the audience. <laughs> Uh, uh, that's and, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll work that one out. <laughs> All right, it's a family uh, show. It's not it's not, not our show. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this has never been a family show. You don't want to watch yeah. this if you're sensitive. Yeah, right. Okay. Well, let's well, let's talk about it. Let's talk about our our family across the across the the oceans. There, John's uh, favorite family. John's favorite family. Yeah, yeah like the Chinese, Chinese selling the yeah. EVs. Yeah, better than Tesla. Want. Yeah, They're, that's what that's what they claim, right? That's well, what they, that's what they claim. Um, DYD, and we talked about this before. They have a battery that goes two thousand kilometers. They proved it. Michael was talking about, and I'm sure I'll say it again for the audience before the show. That Geely has an electric car company they invested in, and their charging is faster. It takes like an hour to charge it instead of twelve hours like a Tesla. They can, they can charge to eighty percent capacity in ten minutes. Ten minutes. There you that's go. great. Yeah, there you but go. where but where are they going to be? At, where are you going to be able to do it? Where are they going to do it? Well, the house. You, you got to okay. find the ultra the house. house. The house. Yeah, what yeah, we should do is we should, we should we should we so should we should uh, we should steal their technology and put it here and not pay them a dime like they do to us. So whoa, whoa, whoa! We're better than that. We're going to pay and bring. I want the, I want the BYD cars. I'm not going to steal anything. I just want them to send their cars. 
I don't want, I know, but they don't pay anything either. So it's fair. I just want the BYD SUV is wonderful. Their supercars are wonderful. I want them like, if, but the problem is now there's a report that came out that said the electric vehicles, because it emits a low amount of radiation, they don't know if there's a long-term effect to it. I mean, it's great that you glow in the dark, but uh, I'm going to stick with gas cars because uh, I know what I'm getting. Well, at, yeah, the end of, at the end of the day, you know, we're all going to die. Wonderful that, that, that the battery is charged maybe in, in a very, in a, in a short period of time. Right. But we, we can't escape the reality that the minerals that go into creating, you know, right. electric cars, you know, is, is a huge, you know, it's a huge what endeavor. It? And, and it, it, what do we gain? You know, we, we don't, we don't gain a hell of a lot. Um, Right. We're still, you know, we have to create energy and it's generated by fossil fuels because mm -hmm. you know, nothing else can replace it. You know, renewables don't do it, you know, and then you have renewables, you know, so it, it's, it's wonderful sort of, you know, I guess the news, but it doesn't, you know, solve the problem that, you know, electric cars are supposed to, to solve, which is, uh, you know, well, you yeah, reduce yeah. carbon yeah. emissions, which, you know, we, you know, we're not getting there. So, well, because yeah. no, there are no charging points. That's the issue. I mean, the whole market's fallen out. You, you're completely fallen, fallen uh, down in Europe, because there's just not there's just not enough charging places. And I said it before. The only people who could kind of win from charging your electric vehicle up is McDonald's, because you have to spend half an hour outside one of them or an hour and a quarter to get your car all charged up. So they're probably you know happy bunnies. All the burgers are again getting in at the same time, but. If you live in a large block of flats in, in a very expensive area, and there are a lot of very expensive areas in Europe with large blocks of big, expensive apartments, A, you're not allowed to put it in the parking space underneath your flat because it's a, it's a, a fire hazard. So, right. <laughs> so where, do you, where, where do you park your car? And what well, all those thousands of cables Friends. coming out of, coming out of people's windows, you know, yeah. And then if you park on the street, because the other thing was, hey, we do it with with um, lanterns, street lanterns. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everybody's scared, scared witless of doing that because how many cables are going to go from a lantern to somebody's car? How many people are going to break their legs, break their necks? Yeah. Oh, well, the subsidies are, it are just getting... has to stop being thought, thought, thought through. It's a great mm -hmm. idea. Yeah, but, you know, the, car, the car it's subsidies, good. in you know, in Germany, uh, uh, and other places, have been reduced or eliminated, and so you yeah, know, electric nothing. car sales yeah, are going down the tubes. China's, subs China's yeah. subsidies are still huge. Yeah, okay. yeah. They make a good product. I well, mean, I'm sure when you get out of a Chinese electric car, you're going to glow in the dark, which is good. You can you find yourself at night. You got to see if it, whether it's good or not. You're going to have to find that out over a period of time. These are still right. brand new car industry, you know, makers, EV makers in China, and we don't know the quality of what they. Okay, let's. Look, hey, you want to talk about one that's been around? Tesla. They get more complaints, more recalls, more of this. The cyber. We can go through. We we'll talk about one. There's Tesla. They suck, in our, in my opinion. I mean, people I know that have them don't like them. Things break, things this. The Cybertruck is getting the worst reviews. In fact, the Cybertruck is so bad, apparently, that, you know, CarMax, right? They take mm -hmm. any POS. They won't take a Cybertruck now. You can't sell CarMax your Cybertruck. I mean, I don't yeah. blame them. The thing is, is ugly. It's, I forget the ugliness. <laughs> yeah. It's just that yeah. all these YouTubers that bought one, now they're, like, re really reviewing them because they realize Tesla is not having to do anything for them. Now they're telling the truth. Like, how long it takes to charge the windshield wiper. You know, if you close the, um, the, 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 the bonnet, if you put fingers there, it'll chop your finger off because it'll chop a carrot and two, there's no sensor. The interior, I mean, like they're going through this. It's hysterical to, you know, like everyone's, oh, t Tesla's crap. You know, it, look. They, Elon sold a good story and that's great. But now people are like, I think the ether's gone to John's point. You have to do all this mining. You have to do all of this, all that. And you're really making the environment worse, right? You can't get a charge for your car. If you do get a charge for your car, there's one guy that came on. He's on Instagram with his Tesla truck. And he's like, my Tesla truck. And he showed us at 1%. And 12 hours later, he um, was at 51%. And he said it only cost him $270 to drive 99 miles. And he said, new people with your gas cars pay 40 bucks to go 500 miles. 
they're like they're in a nice way. He's, you know what I'm saying? It's ridiculous. Yeah. And that, then it's just, it's just stupid. But like, who's buying electric like, cars? You know, like, worldwide think, sales. Loads of, loads of people were buying. Seven Lots of people are. Per, yeah. Okay. Seven to eight. Heavily subsidized. Of all vehicles subsidized. are electric. Right. Let's not wow. get into the illusion that this is a, a no, but the problem is, John, phenomenon. The problem it's is rich, that the EU, the EU a has rich said country. That, it's yeah, a rich, the, rich country, you know, uh, phenomenon. Let's call it. But seven to eight percent worldwide. It's not, you know, yeah. if you, you go the, to Latin the, America, the EU you go have to Africa, now said if they have said to all car manufacturers, you under after twenty thirty five, I think, you're not allowed to make any. Uh, yeah, which is car. crazy. And, uh, Crazy to do so, that. Yeah, so that's the, the, that's why there's a don't big. Don't worry, they're going to change that. They're, they're going to change that. Yeah, that's going to change. That's going to yeah. change. But if but but if you're if you're a nice, polite, um, you know, car manufacturer, I know that's almost an oxymoron. But if that's if that's the case, then you are going to say, okay, well, we have to abide by the law then, and um, we have to uh, produce yeah. EVs. Tell yeah. that to Ford, who was losing about a hundred thousand dollars per truck, electric truck. <laughs> you know what they just said. You know, uh, no, we're not going to do this anymore. We're going to yeah. drastically. Yeah, you talk about you talk about Ford US, then you're not talking about the problems that yeah. the Europeans have. Nobody yeah. really cares about the EU. I hate to tell yeah. you that in America, right? The America only cares about America. So when John mentions it's like Ford, he's only talking about the greatest country in the world. I don't yeah. know which one it is, but he's talking about Ford in America. And okay. China, then. So, yeah. China, uh, is what China. He's about. But here, just really quick, on, so you guys know, so you get some numbers. In 2023, BYD, and it stands for Build Your Dream. Just to let yeah. you know. They, yeah, uh, that's what it stands for. I'm reading it right here on their website that's uh, with a picture of Chairman Mao. Um, sold 3,024,417 vehicles. Um, that's 1.6 um, million fully electric vehicles, a 61% increase, blah, blah, blah. So they're selling a lot of electric cars. 3 million is a lot of cars. Like car, China, real yes. car dealerships want to sell 3 million. They're just so you know, they sell in Asia. Uh, Ubekistan, um, some South American countries. We're the only country, no, they're trying to get into Mexico because we want to charge 100% tariff um, on their cars. That's what Biden is trying to do. Yeah. So, you know, it is what it is. But it's yeah. really a shame just, because if we work together, you, we probably want, have better. They want to put a 20% levy on it. So well, it's better than 100%. Able, so, so, so now they're going to build a uh, factory in Turkey. Um, and they'll backdoor Aww. it in. So. Right. That's why they're going to yes. build a factory in Mexico too, so they can bring it to the United yeah, States. Yeah, but, I don't know if that wall is going to be rules on on yeah. the Mexico loophole. You know? on the, the thing the is, Mexico you know, okay, we, we 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 get all these electric cars. Yeah. Right. Have you ever heard of any successful method to recycle batteries? No. I haven't heard that yet, no. and uh, nope. that's a huge problem. So we're gonna go from okay. Fires, we're gonna save the fires world. are a huge problem. Yeah, fires. Yeah, and the fact that if you break down or you have a fire, there's only certain pickup companies that will come along and pick it up and put it on certain trucks, because yeah. and certainly if it's if it's a fire issue, Toxic. because so it's a, it's just fraught with, uh, you know, with danger. Nice idea. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, like Let's it, just use the hydrogen cars it, so we can all have the Hindenburg. That's all. Yeah, so we can all explode on, on, on the highway. Oh, I love that. That'd be great. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just looking for the fireball. I think that'd be awesome. Like you could just be sitting in your backyard and enjoying the evening air. It just sun's coming down. You're having your cigar and scotch. And all of a sudden in the distance you see and you're like, oh, a car must have crashed. It's just, you know, it's the enjoyment for the people. I think. That's how you, now, you have to make it for the people. <laughs> you know, it's, I don't understand, you know, well, okay, we understand why this is, they're trying to push this, but, you know, it, Latin America, no electric cars. Africa, no electric cars, and there won't be any, because they have the electricity issues. If you go to South Africa, as Nick has, has explained and demonstrated, hey, halfway through our little chat, oh, boop, they cut the electricity. How the no, we kick them out halfway through our How chat. are you going to charge your cars? I mean, we can't charge them here. We have issues. Well, in, you know, in China, they've got millions of uh, yeah. charging stations. Yeah, yeah. China's a whole different story because when you have an autocratic uh, yeah, you just, uh, booth that says, you know, hey, we're doing this. Okay, no, I don't want to. Well, what? Yes, we are. Okay. Yeah. They just, they just well, go sounds ahead like it, it sounds like a good system to me. You know. I mean, oh, yeah. It's wonderful. <laughs> yeah. 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 
Well, the autocrat that's in charge of China is not going anywhere. So whatever he says oh, goes. Yeah. And he's just trying to get his companies to get listed again back in America because he realizes that was a mistake by pulling them all. That was a big article. We can talk about that on another show. Yeah. 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 The other autocrat is trying to uh, take over the U.S. I mean, he's having problems with his dentures. So, uh, hey, I'm your man. <laughs> Look, let's not talk about that because, you know, the U.K. is a lost country. You know, it used to be a democracy. <laughs> there we go. I oh, know you, you freaking laugh, but what's going on what? in the UK and, and the court system there and and, and their government is just it's right. just it's it's hard to believe that the UK that used to be a democracy is a now an authoritarian regime. Well it used to be a democracy. Used to be a democracy. Well, all right. Have you have you have you forgotten Margaret Thatcher? Come on. Come Maggie, on. we love Maggie. You know, they went from, you know, okay, the conservatives forgot to be conservatives and, you know, they went, you know, I don't know what they did. And so they oh, lost elections and the they pockets. brought in, and they brought in what, Keith Stammer, who is, oh my, I mean, you go from bad to horrible. Oh, you well, said and, that? We put you in jail. You didn't? Well, the warning is, and it's not, they don't just put their own citizens in jail. They said they're going to come after foreigners, including. Oh, yes. Yeah, and so everybody true. knows we set up an Instagram account for John and his <laughs> real right. name, and so we're posting terrible things about the uh, about the UK, um, and we put his address and phone number. So if you want to come get John, please feel free. So yeah, <laughs> we're yeah, kidding, John. Crazy, so, crazy look, he's right. You know, there was a guy in the UK. The BBC reported this: the, a forty-year-old guy was arrested and criminally charged for social media posts that contained anti-establishment rhetoric. I mean, come on. I mean, That's you can't ridiculous. even say anything. I mean, well, I'll tell you I'm what, not I'm, making this up. You know, they're going to be banging on my door pretty soon. Yeah, I mean, hey, you're going to hey, go but, 10, 10 years in I'm, jail. You know, I didn't tell everybody, but I'm actually now a Dutch citizen. So um, ah. I've got, somewhere to, got yeah. somewhere to hide. Well, let's not get carried away because it didn't. Yeah, yeah. The, the EU, the EU is not far behind. I think. Yeah. No, it's, I just, the EU is it's just 1932, not. boys. It's just, it's yeah. just a matter of time. Oh, whatever. Tanks will be rolling but, in soon. And the uh, popular in a and 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 the government, you know, yeah. uh, is you know, can you call it a government? Okay, the junta in in Brussels, a junta, sure. as you want to say it in Spanish. Right? Uh -huh. uh, they're not even sure. elected. The, now no, Thierry no. Breton, who's the I don't know the commissioner for something, sent a letter to Elon Musk saying, okay. you know, basically threatening him. Oh, yeah. I, I quite rightly yeah. so. So, so that, naughty boy. Yeah, naughty, naughty boy. boy well, allowing people to to speak, you know, yeah. on the platform. And then the the people in the commission, you know, a week later tried to backtrack it because oh, oh geez, you know, that's a little. Yeah, yeah. It's a little too. We don't uh, want to. Ursula, Ursula was rather, rather, she said it yeah. was just acting. Ursula said, "Well, it's not how we all collectively feel about it." You know, yeah. he was just because we are because we're an open and democratic. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, sure, sure. of course. Ursula, who voted for you? Nobody. Uh, just a well, the people. Germans, in the, you know. the Germans. The Germans voted for her. Yes. Yes. And, and, uh, yeah, and that's why she's not the, she's the German back. population. Not the German. Oh hell population. no! They were glad. They were glad she was living in Brussels. Yeah. Very well. I got rid of her. Yeah. Well, you know, you, you, you know why we're not on but, Fox? I don't know. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So you know, just, my, my know is, is making this a show. <laughs> my, my new nip game, as you can see, is NBC. You know, you, you know what that is? What? Nothing but comments. But according to my wife, it's criticism. But, uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, <laughs> I thought, I NBC. Just... That's what I'm called now. NBC. NBC. I love it. John, John yeah. NBC. Are you yeah. having your own state? Are you having your own show now, John? You just I have my own show. Yes. yes. Spin really? off. Wow. When's that going to air? The spinoff. Yeah. That's yeah, John's going to be a spinoff. John NB. You know what? That's really a good spinoff for a show, John. John NBC. You can come on to and, and and for 15 minutes a week. Yeah. And, no, and NBC I don't spinoff. know. Maybe people, you know, too much, too much bitching. People kind of are probably tired about that. So. No, I don't think so. Fox is doing well no, no, on a no. daily basis. No, the, the <laughs> ratings, rate, well, ratings of television are going way down. But yes, but on YouTube, on YouTube, yeah, yeah. you go way up, you know, as yeah. a commentator. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Paramount is, is 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 getting rid of about three thousand people, but mainly in the television. Yeah, uh, so there's, no, yeah. there's no there's no more room at the top, huh? so that's uh, 
That's what he does. No, they just did that dance. They just got bought out by Skydance. Larry Ellis' son's company. That's why they're getting rid of people. They're going to do cost cutting. Uh, I right. thought, well, because if, if you're on, if you're on the Paramount point, there's probably not a lot of room, isn't it? So it's probably going to get rid of them. Well, not when Larry go. Ellis' it's son is the CEO small. and chairman. So yeah. But, oh, is he German? Oh, we'll oh I don't know. Well, there's chairman. another one. Chairman. Oh, chairman. chairman. Oh, it's a chairman. Larry I'm Ellis. sorry. I, I'm no, sorry. No, I'm, we're, obsessed, we're obsessed with Germans in in in, in Europe. Well, sure. You're waiting for the tanks. I got it. So, yeah, that's why. So, well, boys, I guess we're not going to be able to touch on Zoom thinking it's no, a no. company. You got it. Which is, we do have lost and found. Like, Zoom. Lost and found. Okay. We're going to definitely okay. do lost and found. We got to do wait. lost and found. All right. Well, let's do lost and found there, boys. Welcome to this week's lost and found. Uncovering dollar winners and losers. Where we discuss dollars lost. And dollars gained by various companies and projects. And here we is. Wow. wow. All right, Michael, since you've been away for a fortnight, yeah. why don't you start off? And then John, because we know you're going to yeah. want to get something out. And then I'll go and then David can go last because I'm sure he's got something that's God knows what. <laughs> so. well, look, guys, uh, I, I just want to put the warning out there that science scientists wow. have found that humans age dramatically at two bursts in your life, at 44 and then at 60. So it's not Dang. a gradual. Are you talking about a, minutes? Fine. What's that? Are you talking about minutes? 44 <laughs> minutes? <laughs> We're going to go with years. We're going to hope it's years. But, uh, yeah, they, uh, they detected that these major changes happen at 44 and 60 for most people, and it's not a gradual shift. And uh, yeah, big big warnings against muscular skeletal problems and cardiovascular disease. Uh, these molecules they they burst at these at these particular ages, and uh, and then there's a later spike at 78 maybe or 75. But uh, oh, but you're yeah. such a happy bunny, Michael. Thank you very we gotta much. Watch out. Show today. <laughs> all right. So I mean, basically, what Michael's trying to say is we're all gonna die. Thanks, Mike. That was turn up. Uh, nice to have you back. So, <laughs> so, so, so is that a found dollar for under, for undertakers then, or that's, a lost dollar for? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah. a found because now we know. Now we know it's better than. Now that. we know we're all going to die. Yeah, we didn't know that until now, Michael. Oh, right. Okay, uh, so officially a found dollar for all the undertakers. They can, all they can all do, right. they, can put it, they can put it all in their year planner now. Work it all out. All right. Where are you? Uh, there you go. John, what are you going right. to tell us today? Okay, uh -oh. so. <laughs> home prices slide in China. So okay. the July home prices have dropped the most since 2015 on a year-over-year -year basis. And if you look at Shimao Group Holdings, which is one of the biggest companies, um, home building companies in, in China, their shares mm -hmm. are down 50% in the past three months. Mm -hmm. Now, don't expect the, the Chinese government to come and bail you out. They've, you know, they've said, no, we don't do that. We're not. We're not going to rush to simulate the economy, uh, and so uh, residential property values, as such, have, have dropped forty-five percent below their four average four-year, uh, you know, price. Right. So wow. they're they're really hurting there. So yeah. I, I'd say you know that's a a big a big loss for Chinese uh, individuals because they're the ones that invest in in real estate in China. So. Dollar, I don't know. Dollar, dollar lost. That's a billions dollar lost for the Chinese. Billions. Billions, of, billions of billions of RMB lost. Yeah, China's having a little bit of an issue now. They're unlike unlike the U.S. government. Um, they don't believe you're too big to fail because what the three or four construction companies have failed, a real estate company has failed in the last five years, and also a bank. So yeah, they're not bailing anybody out. They're like, you fail, you fail. Unless you're unless you're an EV automaker. Unless yeah, you're I got one well, more. Then that's though. a little. Yeah, you know, even them. They're just going to yeah. roll you up into somebody because they're not, you know, that's about all they're going to do. But they're like, no, you screwed up, you fail. Because what they do is then they take you out back and shoot you. So yeah, right. teaches you not to fail. So their idea, like if we did that with our investment bankers in 2008, we would never have a problem. If you literally just said, we're going to just kill you because you did this to the country, every investment banker would make sure that nothing like that ever happened again. But we didn't. We gave them a bunch of money so they can bonus themselves out a year later. Where in China is like, oh, you failed. We're going to put you in jail forever or kill you. You know, they they have a different way of thinking, which is yeah. maybe the worst thing in the world. I'm just saying. All right. So mine, 
is for the Olympics. Because you know I love the Olympics, as you heard earlier. But mine goes out to the Australian girl that did the breakdancing contest, mm. which just twirled around on the floor. And she is getting ridiculed up the wazoo because they said that wasn't even breakdancing. And I say to her, kudos to you, my dear. You can come on our show anytime. You, to me, out of everybody, except the guy with the big bulge that knocked the pole down and the pole vaulting, he can come on too. We'll talk about his bulge. But this girl can come on because, to me, she's a true Olympian. She's an amateur who tried did poorly. Yeah, he's right. criticized globally. But you, my dear, you're like Eddie the Eagle, the guy who did the um, – the British guy who tried to do the, salt, the ski jumping that had oh, no yes. clue. She is the Eddie the Eagle of Australia. So kudos to you. You are more than welcome to come on our show. I'm more amateur. Okay. Okay. Yes, so, he's a true amateur. So, yeah. So as an Olympian, she No, no. Dollar found. Uh, she's going to get but, endorsements. Well, oh, this chick's going to make shit with money. True for, Olympian. For, for us, she's a... There you go. That's yeah. it. That's it. Yeah. True yeah. Olympian. Yeah. True Olympian. True, so true Olympian. All right. True Olympian. Olympian. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I just uh, because it's been reasonably sunny, so yeah. so I found this wonderful product, um, yeah. and I thought I'd better share it with you all. Uh, so there we go. This is Solar a solar panel, panel sun, hat. sun hat. Oh my god! Every oh home, wow! So every home should have one. So um, yeah. Um, uh, interested to know whether or not people would spend money on it or not. So it's, a, it's what do you do with this hat? Yeah, what do you do? I don't the... get it. What do you you wear it and do what? Charge your I, iPhone. Yeah, you, you, uh, you charge, charge, your, charge your phone charge. while you're, you're out hiking. Yeah, you, yeah, your pacemaker, uh, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. And you show some dumb things on our other show, the um, no snobs or knobs, but this one, my friend, this one yeah. takes the cake. What do you do with this thing? Well, how What's fast? It charging? What if it charges fast? It's a hat. It's a hat. It's a hat. It's a hat. Solar panel. No, I got. Thanks, guys. I got that part. It keeps you the sun off it. of me. But what am I charging? You, well, you, you're charging uh, seventy nine dollars. But that's oh, what they're charging. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, so, so I think you missed a point there, Stephen, because there are people who you feel they should be solar panelled hats out there. And um, okay. and so what what they want is what they get. So let's have what a vote I... then. Is it going to make cash or is it going to bomb? Oh, this is the so... big scam in the world. This is like buying the Brooklyn Bridge. Right. Okay, so it. so so it's one 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 for. Um, oh yeah, that's a loss. That's a loss. It's a no, loss. It's, it's going to be a win for EcoFlow because they're going to get people to actually buy this thing, which I can't probably. Believe. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> John, you hold the vote here. I say it's going to bomb. It's gonna. There you go. There you it was nine it. bucks, maybe, but seventy nine. Nope. Wait a minute. Yeah, I got a wait. question. Have we reached out to EcoFlow and asked them to come on the show um, Ooh, and right. talk about their hat? Because they've got some do. really cool products here. If you look at their um, their solar panel stuff for phone, they've, they've got a phone thing and they've got. Yeah, but the thing is, they probably they probably had a memo from 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 somebody in China. Sam, we've yeah. got all these little children that don't have anything to do. Can you think of something um, they could make? And they said, yeah, you can make a um, you know, a hat with solar panels in it. Why not? You saw it here second, but first. Okay. Can we get what someone on from the show? Awesome. That would be awesome. Can't we get yeah. someone on from their show? There you go, Michael. Something for you to reach out to. You're yeah. the, uh, there you go. They are a U.S. company, and they do have a lot yeah, of products yeah. we could – Oh well, we're, 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 so I can, well, I can I can await the, the the lawsuit then by saying it was made by Chinese children. So, oh yeah, um, yeah, right, right. That's right. Everybody knows it was made by Chinese children. Stop it. Even EcoFlow. We won't ask that question if they come on. We just want to know about the hat. We want them to give us a demonstration. Better yet, show us what you're going to charge with the hat. Yeah, they should send all of us a hat, and we'll wear it for a week, and we'll tell them what we did with their hat. That's the right. EcoFlow energy hat. What a – oh, my God. Seriously? we got to get them well, on the show. Mike, reach out. Somebody reach out to them. we got to have them on the show. The crazy thing is, right? The crazy thing is, of course, that you – it's only one of you thought that it may, may, 
may make money, which was Michael, but you all got incredibly enthusiastic about it. So in many Michael's, respects, Michael likes trees. That's why. <laughs> there you go. Michael likes to hug trees. And, be, and wait, a, before we go on about the eco hat, there's something behind David. I don't know if anyone noticed. If you look over David's shoulder, uh huh. Yeah. Hey, he finally pointed uh -huh. to the right that, that is our 100,000 viewer plaque from um, YouTube. There, that oh, we sent to David. Big, very, very. Yeah, you got the we, we got it here. You, you too, like, yeah. wow. Yeah, it'd be nice if you paid attention to the channel you're on. Anyway, um, so we watched him call. Yeah, it, it came here first, and we got to look at it and touch it and roll around naked on the floor with it. And we didn't tell David that before we sent it to him, of course. Um, no, and we, then, uh, we noticed that when it arrived. So um, I'm sure there was little marks all over it, sure. And then we sent it off to David. So David now yeah. it, is proudly showing the 100,000 uh youtube mark so there you go so to all our people that's a million now the next one the next well, black's a million that's not going to david <laughs> <laughs> but do, you do realize of course gentlemen that it'll be uh, john nbc uh you know rant show which is going to yeah could take us into the stratosphere i would love so to see you, a john nbc rant show absolutely i would subscribe yeah. to that yeah john so you're going to subscribe you're going to do you're going to do your own show called the john nbc <laughs> Well, he doesn't want to get sued by NBC. So. No, I don't think so. You're not going to do Ruth. Well, no, no. Yeah, it's, that's we, right. Should we ask? I'll we'll have to ask Ruth. Ruth's going to tell him he can't. So that's why. If if she probably says it's okay, he can do it. Though, probably. Yeah. yeah, it's probably yeah. No, it's okay. Awesome. I, I, Let's keep I, it on. I, the I like it. I like coming on this show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> John doesn't want to be. He doesn't want to be too much of a celebrity. That's why, because he's still hunting that Nazi gold down south. You know what I'm saying. Right. So, That's well, everybody, right, yeah. thank you so much. Yeah. It's all good to see everybody. Great, great John, it's always good to see you. Michael, nice that you're finally <laughs> back. Are you <laughs> holidays? You're here now till the end of the year. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay, so oh, just yeah. to let everybody, our show airs every the Lost Dollar Business Club every Saturday morning on YouTube and on the on wherever you get your um, podcasts and just punch in for your podcast. And your dentures by the sound of it, wherever you get your dentures by the sound of it. I don't get mine are getting new ones tomorrow. Um, mm -hmm. And if you want to see it, if you don't want to see us but listen to us on a podcast, go to Two Old Farts Making Noises, and you'll be able to find our podcasts. It's this show plus all our other shows. If you're on YouTube, just go to the, um, Two OF Entertainment and look under podcasts. Um, or playlist, and you will find the Lost Dollar Business Club. And next week, God knows who we're going to have or whatever. Do we have any guests next week, or is it just us? We'll have an official guest next week, so uh, it's, okay. it might just be us, but I, there's, a, there's a tentative, so we'll see. Okay, we All may right, have a solar so hat person. We may have yeah, a solar, solar hat person. Yeah. <laughs> or, or, we may have, or we may just have to share our members. But uh, well, you, can, you can share your member over there. We'll keep you on All notice. All right. Well, yeah. it dirty old boy, we'll put you in prison. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody yeah. have a wonderful yeah. week. Thanks for All watching. Right. Don't forget to subscribe and like as they play with their members. Bye, guys. Bye -bye. Support your local halfway house.